So Adobe XD and Figma ruled 2020. But this year, there are companies which are trying to dethrone that very rule. Now, today, I'm going to show you a very special new tool. But this time, I'm going to do it differently. This year, you guys will decide whether this tool gets to run in the race or not. After you watch this video, make sure you leave a comment on how you feel about this tool. So let's go check out Mock It, the new UI design tool, which can give Adobe XD and Figma a run for their money. All right, so to begin with the dashboard. Dashboard has much more than you see on a usual design tool. You have all projects, starred projects, interesting, and a trash min. So if you delete something, it will come right here and stay here for 30 days. I really like there are folders. So rather than having, you know, different projects, they have different folders, you can create new folders or new prototypes. Also, they have a quick notification. So if somebody comments on your projects, you'll have all of that here as well as a history of all your notifications. So jumping right into a prototype is easy. However, you have more options than that. You can either edit the prototype, play the prototype, or you can download it, set a star, archive, and much more right from here. So you have so many options right up front and it's easy to use. You can see that it looks very similar to Figma or even Adobe XD in certain ways. There is a scale on top, which I really appreciate. Now, what is unique about this is the widget section. You can add a lot of these already inbuilt widgets into your designs. For example, I want to add another button. I can easily do that by dragging around a button and it is a button. I can expand it and it already has something like auto layout applied. Also, you can add states. In, just like in Adobe XD or Figma, you have different states. This has states as well. Also, adding events is simple. Just by clicking on this, you can add an event on tap. I am super impressed by how many types of inputs they have. Dropbox, text area, file input, sticky, text input, and all these things work, yes. So if I put this choose file right here and I go ahead and preview this, when this opens up, if I click on choose file here, it allows me to upload my own file. And of course, nothing will really happen here, but it shows the entire experience of uploading a real file. So real prototypes are possible with Market. Also, they have a lot of inbuilt UI kits, iOS, Android, Windows, and much more. You can always quickly go ahead and filter them or search them right here i can search for a search bar right here and as you can see different search bar material search bar windows 10 search bar ios search bar and just drag and drop it's as simple as that you can even add custom gestures yes there are not only swiping and tapping gestures there are also double tap tap and hold shake yes if you shake your phone something will happen you can even choose between web and mobile interaction so it, on web there'll be clicks there'll be mouse in mouse out on mobile there'll be tap swipe and much more this allows you to create different prototypes depending on the kind of devices those prototypes will play on to add to that they also have other resources like icons yes all the font awesome material design and icons are all inbuilt and you can again just drag and drop. So you don't have to go to another website to pick these assets up. They all exist there. And you can always edit them since they're SVGs at the end of the day. Now, apart from your project here, you can even create folders inside folders or folders inside projects. For example, there's this screen folder. So if you want to divide these screens into a folder, it could be something like onboarding and you have all the assets there for onboarding. You can even add subfolders. Yes, it is possible. So inside onboarding, I want to add version one. Yes, I can do that. I think this is something no other tool has yet. Now, if I make a mistake, this tool will allow me to correct it because it has version control inbuilt. Of course, for me right now, I'm using the free version, so it doesn't have version control on the free version but it works flawlessly on the paid version if you have one. Everything on this preview works as if it is on a real device inside a real application. Yes, your username, you can enter actual values here. So it makes you feel that it's an actual final prototype. Now let's come on to sharing capabilities. Sharing your prototype is very important. You can share it 
as a PNG. In this case, you have advanced sharing options. You can either share this QR code, which is simple. It also shows you how many people have viewed it. So that's useful. You also have whether you want it to be password protected or anyone can see it. You can turn off comments if that is what you want. And you can even add preview effect. If I wanted to highlight something on clicking, then it should do that. I can switch between a device and a web page that's creative. Now they also somehow have a integration with WeChat browser. Of course, I don't have WeChat browser, so I can't show it to you. You also have whether you want to share all screens or you just want to share some screens. I think this is super helpful and not a lot of tools have it like this. I can even insert this as an iframe on my website. No other tool does this or do they? And this allows you to basically fiddle with the designs on any web page. You can add it to your portfolio or anywhere else. And if that wasn't enough, you can publish your work on their public library. Now the cherry on top of the cake is the animations. Is auto animate there? Can I use it to add advanced animations? Yes, a lot of that stuff is possible. Now going through animations, you see so many different options. This is like a never ending list of animations. The basic ones are here, fade in, fade out. Then you have pulse, rubber band, shake, swing, ta-da, wobble, jello, bounce in, bounce in down. So, so many effects are all in built into it. I'm gonna try one. I like this jello. Hopefully it is what it, ah, and it shows a little preview on how it will look. For example, it'll look like this. And this is so cool. You can even choose duration, delay, and make it repeat infinite times if that is what you're going for. So creating GIFs and memes will be easy on this as well. And I wanted to check if there is dark mode because that is a deal breaker for a lot of people. There is a theme which might allow you to, you know, change the color of these highlights. But unfortunately, I just couldn't find dark mode. Maybe I'm missing out on it, or maybe that's something in the premium version of this tool. But apart from that, everything else is here, the same as you would expect in XD or Figma, and you use it pretty much the same way as well. So I like that they haven't changed a lot of shortcuts. They haven't changed a lot of abilities that you have in XD and Figma. All right, so those were the amazing, unique factors about this tool. But there are some things which I personally did not like. The free plan is quite limited. I believe a new tool should have a lower price point to attract more people. The other thing I did not like was it was quite daunting. All the features were just up front. It will increase cognitive load and eventually you'll just give up on the software. That is what I like about XD. It's simple to use. It's very basic. However, there are a lot of features that are hidden all around their interface. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and also smash that subscribe button if you haven't for videos every Monday and Thursday. I'll see you next time. Until then, God bless.